We are here at the ASCO 2011 conference in Chicago, Illinois with Dr. Neil Shore, but we're not talking about something uh, released here at ASCO. We're talking about something released a couple of weeks ago at the AUA conference in Washington, D.C., uh, and that was your work with Dr. Matthew Smith. What can you tell us about that? So uh, it's really a milestone. Uh, it's the first uh, therapeutic administration of any drug that has been statistically uh, significant in an endpoint to show a delay in the onset of uh, bony metastases. Uh, the trial was 700 patients in each arm, uh, blinded, randomized, uh, receiving monthly denosumab uh, versus a monthly subcutaneous uh, placebo. The patients all had central readers in terms of their bone scan, so virtually everyone was uh, bone metastasis free and had a rising PSA on uh, androgen deprivation therapy. It's an unmet need in pa for patients with advanced prostate cancer. We really have no approved labeled indication of any therapeutic. Uh, and this is, was, was really uh, groundbreaking. And so this was presented two weeks ago at our uh, late breaking plenary session and is submitted for publication. And uh, ultimately, we'll see if it, uh, how it's perceived by FDA in terms of uh, allowing it for a labeled indication. But as I said, we don't have anything to prevent the onset of bone metastasis for our patients with advanced prostate cancer. This had to be frustrating for you and all of these patients because you didn't have any answers for them. Well, it's right. I mean, it's really great in this time of, in, in all of our careers for, for uh, urologists and medical oncologists who treat patients with advanced prostate cancer, we're developing a true plethora of options. And this is a really a, a large unmet need space. Better understanding the microenvironment of the bone milieu, uh, thanks to our better understanding of the rank ligand pathway and, and causing you know, its inhibition or impacting upon it, will clearly allow us to better understand prevention of bone metastases because it's the bone metastases that ultimately lead on to skeletal related events and ultimately lead on to uh, a, a, a different and additional pathways, whether they're immunologic or chemotherapeutic. So if we could do anything to uh, prevent that, I think we're clearly offering our patients a, a real service. I know you can't talk much about results right now, but it must be exciting to be able to attack such an unmet need. Well, it is, and attacking an unmet need, again, keeps moving the curve of disease advancement further and further off to the right, if you one were to look at this in a, in a graphical pictorial. By moving it further downstream, we uh, allow an, our other therapeutics to be moved downstream. Patients continue to have a good quality of life. And as we oftentimes say, we try to make advanced prostate cancer a chronic disease, much like the analogy to treating patients for diabetes or hypertension, and said ultimately we maintain and prolong survival as well. Doctor, are we doing better at promoting awareness and early detection with prostate cancer? I think we are. I think we are. We're doing infinitely better. Our advocacy groups, national organizations are doing a better job. There's a little bit of controversy about uh, too much awareness in the early uh, asymptomatic man who has low-grade prostate cancer. We need to do a better job of avoidance of over-treating patients who have localized disease that's of a very slow and indolent nature. We need to do a better job of finding the more aggressive uh, cancers so that they don't go on to develop advanced cancer. But for those that do, and the 32,000 men who die annually, the second leading cause of cancer-related death for men in the United States, lung cancer being number one, we've made tremendous advancements in drugs like denosumab, also known as Exgeva, uh, are building on that on those treatment uh, algorithms. Dr. Shore, thanks for sharing this work. It's pretty exciting. Yes, thank you for having me. And I'm sure Dr. Smith will be delighted that you've been here taking credit for everything he's done. <laughs>